show you guys how to easily apply nail polish. Now before we get started, I just want to give a bit of a disclaimer. Do not get upset if your manicure doesn't turn out perfect on the first try. I have been doing nails for many years, so I've had a lot of time and practice to be able to get this technique down. So it's going to take you some time and some practice to be able to get this technique down. And this technique may not work for everyone. It may be harder for somebody else rather than easier. Um, but the point is, <laughs> Just keep practicing and you'll eventually get the hang of it. With that being said, everything that I used and that you'll need in this video, I will list on the screen somewhere here. Probably over here, but maybe over here. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'll also list it down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you wanna start off with some clean nails. Now I apologize if my nails look a little bit ruggedy. I just took some gel polish off and my nails are a little bit sensitive at the moment. So just ignore that. <laughs> but point is you want your nails to be clean and you can use 100% acetone and a cotton ball and just remove any nail polish or oils or whatever off of your nails. So you have a nice clean base for applying your nail polish. Next, you want to push back your cuticles. You can use whatever cuticle pusher you want. You can use one like this. You can use a metal one. You can use ones that have like the rubber ends at the end of them. Some of you OGs will know what I'm talking about. Um, but you want to push your cuticles back. Now, there are one of two things you can do. You can just push your cuticles back and move on to the next step, or you can do cuticle work. Now, what I mean by that is basically cleaning up your cuticle area because fun fact your cuticles are actually dead skin so there's plenty of videos out there on how to cl like clean your cuticles um but the main way that people who are doing the nails at home do is using a cuticle remover and then following it up with cuticle nippers um, but that's just an option you don't have to do that you can simply just push them back and then move on to the next step now, if you find that pushing your cuticles back hurts or it feels weird, a simple solution to that is just to let your hands soak in some warm soapy water for a couple of minutes and that'll soften the cuticles so it makes it easier for pushing them back and you won't feel anything when you push them back. Now, as you can hopefully see, I don't need to push my cuticles back. They're actually doing pretty well. And I pushed them back last night, actually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to my next step, which is shaping my nails. Now, when shaping your nails, you have the freedom to do whatever nail shape you wanna do. What I do recommend, though, is using a file that is not super coarse. So you can use crystal nail files. Those are great for filing natural nails. Uh, my crystal file actually broke because I had it in my bag. Uh, so I just use this kind of file. It's, a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very soft grit. So it'll be very gentle on my nails when I'm filing them. Now, as you can see, my nails don't really need to be filed. The only one that really needs to be filed is this one. And I forgot to mention this <laughs> at the beginning of the video. When you're doing anything with your nails, whether you are painting them or pushing back your cuticles or like what I'm gonna do here, filing, hold your hands like this instead of putting them like this on the table. Putting them like this on the table makes it harder to actually see what it is that you're doing um, because you can't really move your hand around. Whereas you have your hand like this, you have the freedom to really be able to get in there and see what it is that you're doing. And you have your thumb to support all of your fingers when you are doing your nails. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix this one nail and then I will be right back. All right, so as you can see, that looks a lot better now. Um, unfortunately, because I don't really need to shape my nails, I'm not able to show this. But after you're done shaping your nails, go like this under your nails with your other nail and you'll get these little pieces that I call scragglies that'll come up on your nail. You want to file those off and you can just simply go like this up on your file with them and they'll come right off. Um, so you just don't want those little scragglies 
in your nail polish when you're painting your nails because then it won't look pretty. So just make sure you get all those scragglies off before you go and do application. So before we get into application, I just wanna talk about one more thing. When you are doing any sort of filing on your nails, whether you're just shaping your nails or you're prepping your nail beds, whatever it is, always wear a mask. You can wear just a regular disposable mask like this. I've got like a pack of these at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, you wanna wear a mask when you're filing, especially when you're filing because the dust gets absolutely everywhere and you don't want that stuff in your lungs because uh, you will sneeze a lot uh, or you'll just kind of feel yucky because it's all up in your system. So definitely wear a mask when you're doing any sort of filing, whether you're shaping your nails or prepping your nail beds or whatever. All right, now we can get into the application. So if you are looking for your manicure to last, definitely use a base coat. I don't know if you can see what this says at all. Hopefully you can. Um, but I got this base coat at Sally's Beauty Supply and it works great. I love it. It is a great base coat to use. So I definitely recommend it. Um, and using a base coat will really help to keep your manicure to last. So I will try my best to do this in frame. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Um, I'm also painting my right hand, which is my dominant hand. So you guys will be able to really see how effective this method is with also painting your dominant hand which you're not, with your non-dominant hand. So I'm gonna just take some off the side of my brush. You cannot see that I think. Hopefully you can, I don't know. But as you can see, I don't really have a lot of product on my brush there. And then I am going to carefully push my brush toward my cuticle and bring it down. You don't wanna like put it right up in there. You just wanna lightly push and then drag down. Lightly push and then drag down. And get as close as you can to the sides without touching the sides of your nails or touching the cuticle area. And then I'm gonna wipe the tip of my brush across the tip of my nail, which will seal the polish in. That's called capping the free edge. And that'll seal the polish in and um, keep it from chipping. So I zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see this better. So again, I'm gonna only get a little bit on my brush. I don't want a lot of product on my brush. And I'm kind of starting at the middle. I don't know if you can see this. I'm kind of starting at like the middle of my nail and then I'm pushing the brush as close as I can to my cuticle area and then I'm dragging it down. So, and you can also like move the brush like this so you can really get like towards the cuticle if that makes sense. It basically helps to get kind of close to the cuticle area without actually touching it. And I'm trying to get as close to the sides of my nail as possible without touching them. So, and then I'm gonna cap my free edge. And there you go. So I have applied my base coat to all of my nails and I'm going to give that plenty of time to dry. You wanna make sure that with each layer of nail polish that you're applying, you're letting it dry. You're giving it plenty of time to dry because if the layers are too wet, um, you'll get streaking and weird like bald spots and it just won't look pretty. So make sure you are giving your layers plenty of time to dry before moving on to your next layer. Now, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I just wanna talk about cleanup. So, if you get nail polish on the sides of your nails or in your cuticle area, you can just use your nails to like clean that up. Um, or you can use 100% acetone and some cleanup brushes or a cleanup brush if I can grab them. Um, so as you can see, I have like an assortment of cleanup brushes here. These are all nail brushes, but you can use a regular paintbrush to clean up any polish that you get on your skin. Um, but as you can see, you can use literally an assortment 
of any kind of brushes, sizes, you know, lengths, shapes, whatever. Doesn't matter as long as you have a brush to clean up any polish that you get on your skin. So this is actually pretty dry now. This base coat actually dries like really quickly, um, but I still give it some time to dry. That way when I'm doing my layers, I don't get any streaks or whatever. So I'm not gonna move on to my color and I'm just gonna be using like this milky white. I'm not like looking for any colors in particular. Make sure that you shape that bad boy up or you can roll it in between your hands like this. So then it warms the polish up and it mixes up and whatnot. So I'm going to show you, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how to apply the nail polish a little better with a color because I know with the clear, it's kind of hard to see. So you want your first layer to be thin and I'm wiping off as much as I can on one side of my brush and then I'm wiping a little bit off the other side but not all of it and as you can see that's about as much as I have on my brush. So I'm now going to apply this. I'm going to again start roughly at the center of my nail. I'm going to push this up. I'm going to drag it down. Push it up. Drag it down, getting as close to the sides of my nail as possible without actually touching my skin. I don't know how well I can see that. I hope you can see it. And then again, in between each layer, you're going to cap your free edge. And that'll help the nail polish from wanting to chip off. That will keep it from chipping off. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time, but on a bigger nail. I always have trouble with my pinky, no matter what it is I'm doing with my pinky, so. It'll be easier to see it, I think, on my next nail. So again, I'm getting as close as I can to my cuticle area and pushing my brush up toward it. And when I'm pushing up, I'm not doing a whole lot of pressure. The pressure I'm doing is relatively light. And then I'm getting as close as I can as close as I can, English, to the sides of my nail <laughs> without actually touching it. And you also don't want to touch your cuticle area either because that's what makes it look messy and it's not fun when it gets all up in your cuticle. And again, I am capping the free edge. As you can see, that does not look great, um, but I'm trying. <laughs> So off camera, I went ahead and finished applying my first layer, and now I'm going to move on to my second layer. Um, and I just wanna mention this before I go ahead and apply my second layer. Every time you go to move on to your next nail, always dip back into your bottle to get more product on your brush. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my second layer, and I am gonna have a little more product on my brush. So then this glides on a little better. So again, pushing up towards your cuticle, dragging it down, getting as close to you as you can without touching your skin. Looks like I might have to dip back in to my, my um, nail polish. And if I have to do that, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I'm capping my free edge. And there you go. So off camera, I went ahead and I applied my second coat and then I also applied a third coat. Now I could apply a fourth coat, but I honestly don't feel like it. So uh, while I'm waiting for my third coat to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about top coat. So. Doesn't matter what top coat you use, you can use a regular top coat like this one, or you can use a fast drying top coat, or you can even use a gel top coat if you wanted to. Point is, you want a top coat because this will help seal in your color and will further help keep your nails from chipping. And it also makes it nice and shiny. Okay, so my third layer has had a pretty good amount of time to dry, so I'm now going to move on to my top coat. And applying the top coat is the same as applying the base coat and the color. You want to get as much as you can 
off of one side of the brush. This brush is a little bit bigger, so I do have to wipe off a little more. Get as close as I can to the cuticle. Pull down. Get as close to the sides of my nail as possible. And then I'm gonna cat my free edge. Now you will notice when you apply your first layer of top coat that when it dries, it doesn't really look that shiny. And that is because the nail polish absorbs the first layer of the top coat. So you then want to follow it up with a second coat of top coat. And hopefully I'll be able to kind of show you guys what I mean. So I went ahead and applied my first layer of top coat and I let it dry and as you can see, it does look kind of shiny, but not as shiny as you'd expect it to be, which is why we then follow it up with a second coat of top coat. And that'll really bring the shine out on these nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. You can already see just how much better that made that look. I don't know how well you can see this on camera. Um, hopefully you can see it, but this nail looks significantly shinier than this one. So always follow up with a second coat of top coat. So I went ahead and I applied my second coat of top coat off camera and I let that dry. And now I'm going to add cuticle oil. Always, always, always add cuticle oil after you are done with a manicure. This will bring the nails back to life um, and it's just good for your cuticles. So while I'm doing that, a tip to get your nails or your manicure, I guess, to last longer is every week apply another layer of top coat and capping the free edge and that'll help your nail polish manicure to last for two to three weeks, depending on how long you want the manicure to last. So that is how to easily apply nail polish on yourself. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, also hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos that I upload, if it even works. If it doesn't work, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I not only update you guys on new videos, but that's also where I share my work that you guys normally wouldn't see in these videos. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.